these how are these discussions? Are they spirited? Are they dif are they difficult? Or uh, uh, they're always difficult. I mean, some easier than others, as as you would think. But uh, you know, the last few are always the most difficult, especially when you have uh, guys who are doing quite well. You just don't have a, a spot. So you got to make a call and make that decision, and and they've done all they can to be on the club. But uh, yeah, we we got to get this uh, trimmed down the next day or two. We still have quite a few guys in camp, and you know, the truck's leaving today. And it shows you how, you know, how close we're getting here. You know, we're a week away, so you know, next day or two, we'll we'll be letting these guys know. But you'll have to keep some guys around. I mean, you like. You won't know on Corey probably until the 27th. Right, right. So yeah, yeah, we'll we'll cover ourselves. Yeah, we'll keep some around, and we'll let them know. We'll be honest with them. Uh, some of them will be traveling with us. That probably will not be on the club. Um, uh, is Josh Spores? Been okay? Has he been battling anything? He's throwing today. He's throwing what today? Live. Live. Yeah, he's throwing. We just backed, uh, backed him off a little. Just had a little soreness in the knee area. Uh, nothing that we're concerned about. I mean, I think anytime you have a little soreness somewhere, you're going to have a little concern. But uh, so he's throwing live today. He's he's on schedule. He'll. We expect him to be fine. He is on schedule. Yeah. Um, Coach, with those, I, I'm curious, what have you, what have your observations of watching Carter and Langford interact um, been like? It's been great. I mean, those two talk a lot. They have a lot in common. Those guys that are up here at a fast pace, so you know both have been uh, talked about quite a bit in the, the world of baseball, and they know it. So uh, I think the fact that Carter's been through it a little bit, even though he's younger, you know, has probably talked about his experience in dealing with it, you know, to help uh, Wyatt out. But no, they're, they're great. They're, they're hitting the same group. They've been hitting back to back a lot. Beyond, like, you know, as a manager, you're looking for, you're evaluating players. But you also, I mean, one of the things that makes you who you are as a manager is you study players. And I'm, I'm curious if there's anything that you were looking for, like, with an eye towards both the present and the future in how those two guys. I'll say this. I mean, I mean we're talking about two just fine young men that are so well-grounded, so humble, uh, uh, talented, obviously, but uh, yeah, they're you know they're guys that a manager wouldn't even think think of uh, or have any concerns about. Uh, no, they're great teammates, uh, good people. Uh, yeah, these we're we're lucky to have these two, and we're excited to have these two, as we all should be. Uh, 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 you know, the staff, fans, everybody. I mean, we. Two good ones here, and uh, uh, so I, I don't ever have concerns, uh, you know, with these two, with anything, uh, as far as you know, how they approach the game, how they get ready, uh, uh, how they handle things. You know, they're they're pretty special in their makeup, you know, to go with the talent. It seems kind of guys are coming off a World Series with all these great players and all-stars yet the talk of camp has been these two young guys so it's kind of like a yeah no I agree it's it's you know exciting you know I mean look at where they're at at their age and you know their lack of experience I guess you could say you know, to be up here, it's it's pretty cool. You know, you don't you don't see one very often, but to have two. That's why I think it's created so much interest. Uh, um, 
you know, with you know, what's going on with these two. What do you attribute that that level headedness they both appear to have? Gosh, I guess it goes to their parents, how they were raised, how you know, they're you know they're just so well grounded, uh, you know, come from great backgrounds, families, uh, that's where it starts. That's that's what I think. And what kind of a luxury is that for you? Oh, no, it's a big luxury. I mean, you, I've, I've seen it the other way, you know, where, <laughs> you know, players can get a little full of themselves, I guess you could say, or prima donnas, but uh, now these two with attention they've gotten and who they are, you wouldn't know it. When Nathan Valdez, your opening day start, we're all shocked. What uh, state the obvious? Why did he get the nod? <laughs> the obvious. <laughs> Actually, I told Nate back in December. Be honest there, but uh, yeah, he, he'll uh, he'll start these for us. Did you really tell him in December? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I said yeah. We we're talking about just a planning, whatever. I said, "Yeah, we'll plan you out to go game one." So I'll set with that. Sorry about the earth shattering news that we had. To, <laughs> we, we waited so long. Now I'm breaking a whole lot of ground there. Um, what does what does he mean to the staff because of his level of invest, not just for performance, but level of investment? It's so hard to quantify, quantify what he does uh, beside what he brings when he's on the mound. You see him in, a, in the bullpens, uh, the early part of spring training. He's out there watching the guys, talking to them. Uh, um, he just bounced around the clubhouse all day. Uh, you know, it's great to have that kind of leadership. Uh, you know, for a manager, you, you appreciate those guys that, that – you know, step in the breach, as I've said, help you and uh, and really help <coughs> become another set of eyes and ears. Uh, uh, one particular pitch, you know, that he gives a lot of advice on is a split finger because he has a lot of experience throwing it, and guys gravitate to him. You know, he's just got a infectious personality that you know guys want to be around him. Well, what have you thought of this spring? I think he's had a great spring. Came in great shape. He's been throwing the ball well. First time out, I said, we need to put him on ice. That's how well he threw that day. Uh, velocity, uh, the breaking ball, everything was working. You know, he's a guy you have to kind of hold back a little bit. You know, pitched in the B game. And you thought it was the fifth game in the World Series. That's how he approached it, how he backed up bases, uh, everything he did. So is, is he, his last start is Friday or Saturday? Uh, yeah, I don't have it in front of me. Yeah, you, you keep doing that to me, but I'll, I'll go get the schedule. No. Uh, what, what, what's today? Let me start there. Tuesday. <laughs> okay, thanks. Started Sunday. Oh, no. <laughs> I told Biden. That could be mad with what they just pitching. <laughs> he, it'd be short work. Uh, it, it'd be short work. We leave. Uh, yeah, I believe it's. We leave on Saturday. I believe it's Friday, but I'll get that for you. It's fine. And we're probably looking at four innings there. <clears throat> What else is going on? Uh, we did talk to Davis Wenzel. What a nice spring the young kid had. Did a great job at third. Uh, I would like to have moved him around a little bit more, but you know we had some other guys we had to kind of find out about. But I know he can play short, second. He can play first base. It's coming off a nice year, a nice power year. Uh, but he's just to me getting better and better and. Gives us a great option. Uh, hopefully, nothing happens. But if it does, with where he's at in his career, so he'll he'll be around today. Probably take the day off tomorrow. But 
been a nice rain for the kid. What, what are the hopes or expectations uh, the progress for uh, Scherzer, Mally, the Grom, those guys? All going well with their rehab. I, Max is doing really well. I, I mean, you wouldn't know he had surgery uh, on his back, the way he's throwing the ball. He's playing long toss, uh, really stretching it out. We're having to hold him back a little bit uh, to stay with what the plan was. Uh, so we're looking at him <coughs> early June. Uh, this is really the start of a spring training okay. for him. Uh, but doing great. Uh, Miley's doing well with his uh, rehab. We're looking July sometime, around the middle of July. Uh, uh, so that's good news for us. And uh, Jacob's doing well too. I'd say early August in there. But he okay. should uh, uh, be ready to pitch for us, mm. you know, barring any setbacks, knock on wood. So uh, all good news on those guys with how their rehabs are going. You, you mentioned us a little bit yesterday after a game and talking about Garcia. What does You've now had two springs with him. What does he, what's the process like for him in terms of getting ready with his swing? Well, it's been a little bit different this uh, spring, I think, with the slow playing a little bit. He's got that bats, not just on in the A games, but I'm talking about B games, squad games. He's got a lot of live pitching, uh, but the process is to, make sure his his legs uh, are good to go uh, that we have him you know, 100% uh, when we open up and we're there now he's going back to back days playing right field uh, uh, swung the bat well yesterday uh, so I, I like where he's at so you know the process that we use with him getting ready I think uh, has gone well and the swing process for him is always about like because his swing is so it's a, it's about finding out where the line is for him to not chase at the top of the zone, right? I mean, is that the? Yeah, I think that's the case with a lot of players. But now I think it's fair to say with Dolly, uh, that's an area that I know he's worked hard on. And I think you know he's has definitely shown that improvement. I think he'll tell you that he doesn't need to probably swing as hard as he does at sometimes because uh, he's got tremendous power and uh, and staying under control a little bit more is going to benefit him. So these are things that he's working on. Uh, I really I really was excited for him that last month. You could see the adjustment he made. As you know, he went through a tough stretch there and had a tough time laying off those pitches. Not just those, uh, you know, even some other pitches, uh, which in the past, you know, that's that was a area he was trying to get better at, and it left him there for a little bit. But now I think he's back on track with, uh, you know, commanding the strike zone a little bit better. How would you characterize Jared Walsh's spring? Has he exceeded your expectations? Or I think it's been a, a pretty good spring for him. He's faced a lot of lefties, uh, uh, which is probably not the plan, uh, uh, or wasn't a plan coming in, but play, he's played a very good first base. Athletic, uh, agile, you, you see, he, he moves around well there. He can play outfield, I just you know, I haven't put him out there, but um, but I think he's overall had, had a nice spring.